Hi, my name is Kapil Thungabaylor. I'm the CTO at Stacklet and the lead maintainer for Cloud Custodian. Let's take a quick introduction to Cloud Custodian and what it can do for you. As organizations adopt the cloud, the path to being well managed involves many different responsibilities and areas of concern that have to be addressed, from security to compliance to operational excellence and cost optimization. Cloud Custodian is designed to help address across all these different problem domains to enable organizations to be well managed in their adoption of cloud. The cloud enables developers to use a rich ecosystem around their APIs with many different tools, from Terraform to Kubernetes to direct integration and application code. And all those different technologies and tools enable a rich ecosystem set for application and developer productivity. But on the organizational side, they represent lots of different ways of using and configuring cloud resources so that an organization has to ensure are compliant to their organizational policies. We have using customer managed encryption for all data, centralized logging for all load balancers, financial considerations around doing off hours for development environment at night, and cloud streaming is a tool that's designed to help address all these different problems and do that in such a way that uh, not just being able to report on them, but being able to enable workflows and enforcement of these different policies. So what is policy? It's an open source tools engine for account and fleet resource management across the different public clouds. It uses a YAML DSL for querying resources, finding the interesting set, and then taking actions on them. And it's designed to scale from small shops to the largest enterprises. Let's take a look at a cloud custodian policy. A cloud custodian policy always targets a particular resource, in this case, an AWS EBS volume, and then applies a set of filters to find the interesting volumes that match its policies particular criteria. In this case, we're looking for EBS volumes that are in use, which means they're attached to an instance, and that are not encrypted. And then we can apply a set of actions to that, those resources. In this case, we're going to copy the tags from the instance onto the volume. So, and then finally, we have our execution mode. Our execution mode tells, lets us define how we want this policy to execute. By default, we use a poll mode, which means as you run on the CLI, that we will query the cloud resources and directly adopt it. But you can specify different event modes, including those that are event-based, in which case the student will actually provision the service function in different cloud environments and configure the event sources, all for you as you're on the CLR. Now, Custodian also has a rich set of filters, several hundred of them, and actions that you can use to compose policies and for arbitrary things. Custodian tries to help you enable a governance as code posture with regard to your policies. Typically, author policies in Git, the code review, apply some CI to them, regards to doing dry runs or schema validation, and then go to execute them on the machine. As you go to execute them, it's both the CLI, so you will look at different execution nodes and for full base nodes directly execute them and give you rich structured outputs into cloud storages from the logs, log metrics, as well as if you have an event based node, the student will actually provision the serverless function and its event sources wired all together. Let's take a look at a few more policies. So here we have some AWS policies targeted towards uh, a more of a security domain. On the left-hand side, we have a policy that will provision as an AWS config pool. We'll look at the AWS EC2 instances and check if any of them have the permission based on their IAM role for creating another user. If so, their flag is not compliant in the AWS config console. On the right-hand side, 
we have a policy that will look at any of those client users, check to see if any of them have API keys that are older than 120 days, and then find, file a post, a finding into AWS security. As you can tell, Cloud Studio differs from our tools in that it really has deep integration with the cloud providers and other technologies around the same between AWS Config or Lambda or AWS Security Hub. But we don't just do that for AWS, we also do that for GCP and Azure. Let's take a look at a GCP operations focus policy. So we're going to look for any app engine SSL certificate that's got an expiration date for less than 60 days out. And then go ahead and send an email to our operations team so that they can properly rotate. As you can tell, the value filter allows for is the workforce for a lot of custodian policies and allow for a rich set of of comparisons from age base to doing sitter math to doing set operations, including pulling values from external data sources. As a final example of doing operations policy, here's one that will look at AWS load balancers that are not configured for logging, and will then set them up to a centralized log button. I hope that gives you a taste of what some of the things that you can do with Cloud Studio to improve develop productivity, make control costs, and be well managed in the cloud. If you want to learn more, come check out our website at cloudcustodian.io or on GitHub. We also have a chat channel on Gitter with over 1,600 users. Hope to see you there.